What happens when a simple joke goes hilariously wrong in front of thousands of people? Imagine being in front of a packed concert hall, lights blazing, all eyes on you, and suddenly realizing that your lighthearted prank has taken a completely unexpected turn. That's exactly what happened to Priscilla Presley one unforgettable night during one of Elvis's concerts. She thought she'd add a bit of fun by joining him on stage, but Elvis had other plans, turning what was supposed to be a playful moment into a memory that would forever be etched in the minds of everyone watching. Tonight, we're taking you back to that incredible moment. A moment filled with suspense, laughter, and a little bit of embarrassment. Elvis turned the tables in a way no one saw coming, and you won't believe how it all unfolded. 7. Setting the Scene Elvis Presley's concerts were nothing short of electrifying events. The atmosphere buzzed with a sense of anticipation, and the moment he stepped onto the stage, a wave of excitement rippled through the crowd. The king of rock and roll knew how to captivate an audience. His charisma, his voice, and his presence were all part of the magic that made his performances legendary. Among the many routines that his fans had come to love, one stood out as a crowd favorite, bringing women from the audience on stage to give them a kiss. It was a playful and romantic gesture that thrilled the audience every time, creating a sense of intimacy between Elvis and his adoring fans. This segment became one of the most iconic parts of his live shows, adding a dash of unpredictability and personal connection that left everyone cheering and swooning. It was during one of these classic moments that Priscilla Presley decided to make her move. Priscilla, feeling the need to catch Elvis's attention in a playful way, decided to join in on the fun. As Elvis had been spending more time away, either performing or immersing himself in other activities, Priscilla was often left longing for his attention. She wanted to do something that would not only surprise him, but also remind him that she was still there, waiting and watching. The idea of joining the women on stage seemed like the perfect opportunity to add her own twist to the nightly kiss routine. She thought it would be a lighthearted joke an amusing moment that would catch Elvis off guard while showing her playful side. With her confidence boosted by the thrill of the idea, Priscilla decided that this would be her moment, a chance to take the spotlight alongside Elvis, even if just for a few fleeting minutes. Little did she know that what she had planned as a simple prank would soon turn into a far more memorable and embarrassing experience than she had anticipated. 6. Priscilla's Plan Priscilla Presley was no stranger to the challenge of trying to keep Elvis's attention, especially as the demands of fame and the lure of the stage seemed to pull him further away from home. It wasn't that Elvis had stopped caring for her, but rather that his larger-than-life career often left Priscilla feeling like she was just another part of the background. In moments like these, she felt a need to stand out, to do something that would remind Elvis she was still there just as vibrant and full of life as when they first met. This motivation, coupled with her playful spirit, is what led her to hatch a plan to catch Elvis's eye in the middle of one of his concerts. She knew this wasn't just about getting a laugh. It was a way to reconnect with Elvis in a setting where he was truly in his element, where he was alive in a way that he often wasn't at home. To pull off her prank, Priscilla chose her outfit deliberately, something that would not only make her stand out, but also create a bit of mystery and drama. She wore a sleek black dress with a hood and a daringly low-cut back, an outfit that was perfect for both blending in at first and then making a dramatic reveal. From the back, her appearance gave the impression of someone bold, possibly even scandalous, especially under the concert lights. With her hair covering the straps of the dress, the effect was even more pronounced, at first glance, it looked as though she might be topless. This was the element of surprise that Priscilla hoped would grab Elvis's attention immediately. It was risky, of course, but that was part of the thrill. She knew Elvis loved spontaneity, and she wanted to give him, and the audience, something to remember. As the moment came, Priscilla joined the line of eager women waiting to go on stage, her heart pounding with anticipation. 
She could hear the cheering of the crowd, feel the adrenaline as each fan stepped up for her moment with Elvis. When it was her turn, Priscilla stepped onto the stage with confidence, expecting a quick, light-hearted kiss from Elvis and then a return to her seat amid the laughter of the audience. She imagined Elvis's reaction, maybe a laugh, a look of surprise, and a twinkle in his eye that let her know the joke had landed just right. It was supposed to be over in a matter of seconds, a playful interruption to his usual routine, a way of reminding Elvis and everyone else of the unique connection they shared. Little did Priscilla know, however, that Elvis had noticed her right away, and he was not about to let her off the hook so easily. This joke was about to become a much longer and more public moment than she ever anticipated. Five. Elvis's Unexpected Reaction When Elvis noticed Priscilla among the line of eager fans, it must have taken him by surprise. There she was, dressed to stun, standing alongside the other women who were all vying for his attention. But instead of reacting the way Priscilla had imagined, smiling, perhaps chuckling at the joke and giving her that quick kiss, Elvis made a different choice. He kept his cool, never breaking from his performance, and continued singing, almost as if she were just another fan. It was clear that he recognized her, but instead of making it easy, he decided to prolong the moment. Elvis, always a master of showmanship, saw an opportunity to flip the script and play along in his own way, leaving Priscilla standing there, awkwardly caught between her own joke and the reality of the performance. The audience, of course, had no idea of the playful tension between the couple, but Priscilla felt every second of it as Elvis continued, seemingly oblivious to her presence. Desperate to regain control of the situation, Priscilla began to quietly plead with Elvis, her nervous whispers nearly drowned out by the music and the cheering crowd. Kiss me, kiss me so I can sit down, she kept saying, her voice betraying the mixture of embarrassment and amusement she was feeling. But Elvis wasn't ready to let her off the hook. Instead of giving in to her request, he kept her waiting, standing there in the spotlight while he continued his song. It was his way of playfully turning the tables, a subtle but powerful reminder of who commanded the stage. The longer she stood there, the more uncomfortable she became, and it must have felt like an eternity before Elvis finally acknowledged her in any significant way. He knew exactly what he was doing, stretching out the moment, making her feel every ounce of the audience's gaze as they watched in bewilderment. It was no longer just a light-hearted joke, it had become a test of nerves, a moment that showcased not just Elvis's control over the performance, but the complex dynamics of their relationship as well. Jacra 4 The Audience's Reaction As Priscilla stood on that stage with the spotlight beaming down on her and Elvis continuing his song, the audience couldn't help but react to what they saw. From their perspective, Priscilla's daring black dress, with its hood and an exceptionally low-cut back, created quite an illusion. With her hair falling over the straps of the dress, she appeared, at least from the back, to be bare from the waist up. The crowd let out a collective gasp, followed by a series of curious oohs and ahs that filled the concert hall. The spectacle before them was unexpected. It wasn't just a random fan who had come up on stage. It was a mysterious, seemingly topless woman, daringly confronting Elvis Presley. The whispers spread quickly through the audience and every pair of eyes was glued to the stage, waiting to see what would happen next. The tension was palpable, and each second that passed only amplified the sense of wonder and curiosity among the fans. For Priscilla, what started as an amusing attempt to catch her husband off guard was now turning into something much different. Hearing the crowd's reactions, the gasps, the laughter, the intrigued murmurs, only deepened her sense of unease. She could feel the audience analyzing her, wondering who this woman was and why she was standing so boldly before the king of rock and roll. The very illusion that made her look topless, which had originally seemed like a clever part of her prank, now left her feeling exposed, vulnerable, and very much the center of attention. With each passing second, the initial thrill was fading, 
replaced by an awkwardness that only grew as the crowd continued to react. She tried to get Elvis's attention with whispered pleas, but the longer he ignored her, the more evident it became that she was not in control of this moment. Elvis was, and he intended to keep it that way. As Elvis carried on with his performance, seemingly unfazed by her presence, Priscilla's struggle became increasingly apparent. The spotlight, bright and unrelenting, made her feel as if she were under a magnifying glass, every movement scrutinized by the thousands of fans in attendance. She could feel her face flushing, her heartbeat quickening as she tried, in vain, to maintain her composure. She kept glancing at Elvis, hoping for a quick end to the spectacle, but he was thoroughly enjoying the situation. He sang with the same charisma and energy as always, his voice unwavering, while Priscilla stood there, caught between laughter and embarrassment. She shifted uncomfortably, trying to appear at ease, but her whispered requests, kiss me, kiss me so I can sit down, fell on deaf ears. Elvis held her in that spotlight, masterfully using the moment to build tension, ensuring that all eyes stayed on them. It was a testament to his unmatched control over any stage he stood on. This was his world, and tonight, Priscilla was learning just how powerful his presence could be, even when the joke was supposed to be on him. 3. The Grand Reveal As the song finally drew to a close, Elvis seemed ready to put an end to the tension he had masterfully orchestrated. The final notes echoed through the hall, and the audience's anticipation reached a fever pitch. It was as if everyone in that room was holding their breath, waiting to see what he would do next. Then, in true Elvis fashion, he turned toward Priscilla with that famous smile of his, the one that could charm an entire stadium. Without missing a beat, he leaned in and planted a big, dramatic kiss on her lips. The crowd erupted in cheers and applause, the tension transforming into pure excitement as the king acknowledged the mysterious woman who had captivated them throughout the performance. Elvis, always one for theatrics, made sure this was no ordinary kiss. It was grand, full of flair, a gesture that not only acknowledged Priscilla, but also gave the audience the payoff they had been waiting for. But Elvis wasn't finished just yet. After that show-stopping kiss, he surprised everyone, Priscilla included, by turning back to the microphone and introducing her to the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is my beautiful wife Priscilla, he announced, his voice booming across the auditorium. The crowd's reaction was explosive, with cheers and whistles filling the venue. It was a twist that nobody had expected, not even Priscilla herself. In that moment, the prank had come full circle, but not at all in the way Priscilla had imagined. Instead of remaining anonymous, playing her joke and slipping quietly back to her seat, she found herself fully revealed under the bright stage lights. Elvis, with his knack for creating unforgettable moments, had made sure she was not just a part of the show, but one of its highlights. Priscilla's reaction was a mixture of surprise, embarrassment, and perhaps a touch of reluctant amusement. She could feel her face turning red as the crowd cheered, the sheer volume of it washing over her. The spotlight that had felt so harsh moments ago now seemed even more intense as she stood there, exposed not just to the eyes of thousands, but now also introduced as Elvis's wife. She managed to muster a smile, giving a small wave to the audience, but all she really wanted was to make her way back to her seat as quickly as possible. She turned, her movements hurried, almost awkward, as she made her way down the steps, feeling the eyes of the entire venue following her every step. The relief she felt when she finally reached her seat was palpable. She could finally sink back into the shadows, away from the intense focus of the spotlight. It had been a memorable night, one filled with more embarrassment than she had bargained for, but also a moment that perfectly encapsulated the unpredictable nature of life with Elvis, the king of rock and roll, a man who could turn any moment into an unforgettable performance. 2. Priscilla's Reflections In her book, Elvis and Me, Priscilla Presley offers an intimate glimpse into her life with Elvis, including that unforgettable night on stage. 
She describes the overwhelming mix of emotions she felt, excitement, nervousness, and ultimately embarrassment as her prank spiraled out of her control. She recounts the way her carefully planned joke quickly lost its intended humor as Elvis refused to play along, instead choosing to leave her stranded in the spotlight, exposed to the watchful eyes of thousands of spectators. Priscilla writes about how, in that moment, the audience's laughter and cheers began to feel like they were directed at her predicament rather than her intended playfulness. The feeling of vulnerability was undeniable, and she admits that what was supposed to be a fun, light-hearted attempt to share a moment with Elvis ended up leaving her flushed and eager to escape the spotlight. The audience's roaring reactions, the sudden shift of focus, and the prolonged attention were more than she had bargained for. This onstage moment was just one of the many ways Priscilla had tried to capture Elvis's often elusive attention. Life with Elvis wasn't easy. His constant travel, demanding career, and the endless adoration of fans often left Priscilla feeling sidelined, an afterthought in a world that revolved around the king of rock and roll. In her book, she shares how these kinds of stunts were her way of reminding Elvis of her presence, of standing out amidst the chaos of his public life. However, she admits that her attempt to insert herself into his world on stage did not go as planned. Instead of the brief moment of intimacy she hoped for, she found herself caught in a situation that was both amusing and deeply humbling. It was a reminder that Elvis, with his charisma and control, could turn any situation into a performance, one where even Priscilla had to play by his rules. Despite the awkwardness, it was an experience that perfectly illustrated the complex, unpredictable dynamics of their relationship. Marked by love, playfulness, and the constant challenge of being in Elvis's orbit. One. Other attempts to get Elvis's attention. Priscilla Presley's efforts to keep Elvis's attention went beyond her playful pranks. She often used her appearance to stand out in a world that was constantly competing for his focus. With Elvis being surrounded by admirers, whether on tour or even in his own home, Priscilla had to find creative ways to ensure she remained at the center of his attention. One such method was through her choice of clothing. Priscilla began wearing increasingly daring outfits, experimenting with styles that were bold, revealing, and designed to make a statement. She opted for skimpy knit dresses, see-through fabrics, and other clothing that pushed the boundaries of what was expected at the time. She knew that her appearance was something that could easily capture Elvis's eye, even in the midst of the chaos of his fame. These outfits weren't just about fashion. They were part of her strategy to maintain her place in his life a way of reminding Elvis, and everyone else, of the captivating woman by his side. There is one anecdote in particular that perfectly highlights how Priscilla's strategy worked. During a light-hearted moment, Elvis was playfully teasing his father, Vernon, for flirting with a woman. As the joking conversation unfolded, Elvis's gaze shifted to Priscilla, and with a mix of pride and warning, he pointed out her daring outfit. He remarked, you're going to have problems of your own if your wife goes out in the street looking like that, making it clear that Priscilla's bold fashion choices had certainly caught his attention. It was exactly the reaction Priscilla had hoped for. She wanted Elvis to notice, to be reminded of her presence, to take pride in her, and perhaps even feel a twinge of jealousy. In those moments, she succeeded in not just being the woman in the background, but in taking center stage, reminding Elvis that she was someone worth watching. These efforts, though sometimes subtle and sometimes overt, were part of the ongoing dance of their relationship, Priscilla continually finding ways to be seen in a world where Elvis's attention was a highly sought-after prize. This night on stage became one of the most memorable and amusing moments in the complicated and vibrant relationship between Elvis and Priscilla. It was a perfect reflection of the playful yet unpredictable dynamics they shared. A moment where Priscilla's attempt to take charge of the spotlight ended up being turned back on her by Elvis, who always knew how to put on a show. Though it was filled with embarrassment for Priscilla at the time, 
it was also a shared laugh, a story that became part of the unique history they built together. It spoke volumes about their love, which was full of surprises, fun, and moments where each tried to outdo the other in affection and attention. Ultimately, it was an experience that not only brought them closer, but also gave them a shared memory to look back on, filled with both humor and a reminder of Elvis's unmatched charisma. It's moments like these that remind us that even legends like Elvis had their own relationship quirks, their own ways of teasing and loving each other in front of the world. What do you think Priscilla felt in that spotlight? 